What's up, guys? This is Tampa Tech, and this is my son, Devin. 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 He's going to be 13 in two days. Are you excited for your birthday? Yeah, at the time of recording this video. Yeah. So by the time I upload this video, he'll probably be 13. Maybe 14. Maybe 14. Depends on how long I take to edit. So anyhow, uh, today I want to teach him how to fix a TV. Because that's what every 13-year-old boy should learn how to do, is fix the TV. I'm just kidding. I don't want to get sued. So anyhow, uh, I'm going to fix... Well, he's going to fix this TV. It has no power, and we're going to troubleshoot it together, and he's going to fix it. So let's go ahead and get the um, power cord. Grab the power cord. Hang it off right there. Make sure it's plugged in. Plugged in. All right, so first things first, you want to check the power cord, make sure it, it has voltage. So you want to switch this to AC volts. That's a V with a squiggle, the sine wave. So go ahead and stick the leads in there. Make sure you don't touch the metal parts. All right, so what are we reading? A lot. All right, so go ahead and hold it there. Don't touch the metal. Touch the metal. And we're reading about 120 volts AC, so we got good power. The power cord is good. So the power cord is definitely good. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Oh, I heard a click, right? So we heard a click. Let's go ahead and check the standby voltage and see if we have standby volts. So you want to switch it to DC mode because the power supply outputs DC. It converts AC volts to DC volts, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know what causes the AC volts to switch to DC volts? What part on the power supply? Uh, I don't know. It could be for diodes, power di diodes, or it could be a bridge rectifier. And that's usually mounted on a metal heat sink. Mm -hmm. uh, so on the board, you'll see STB or STBY or 5V. And right there, there's your 5V. All right, so if you look, I don't know if you can see that or not. Zoom in. All right, so 5.2V, go ahead and put it back in. That's it. So we have the negative lead on a ground source, which is the chassis of the TV, the metal chassis of the TV is a good ground source. And, um, we got steady voltage, 5.2 steady. Now, if it was jumping up and down, then you can check out the capacitors on the power supply. And if it's going zero to five volts, zero to five volts, you could check out the um, voltage regulator on the power supply, usually mounted on a metal heat sink. But we have steady voltage, so the power supply is good. This was an outdoor TV, and it is a rust bucket. It's covered in rust. And so, my, I think it might be the main logic board just because the main logic board input, the, like the ports, like the HDMI port and everything is exposed to the outside elements and that can cause a short in the main logic board. All right, so let's go ahead and unplug it. All right, so using logic because you're looking at the TV, right? And there's ways to troubleshoot the TV, many different ways. Uh, one, you could visually take a look at everything and see what's wrong. If you see a capacitor that's swollen or bulged or bubbled, then you know that capacitor is most likely bad. Um, another thing is if you have a resistor that looks burnt or darkened, then you can assume that that resistor is overheated and shorted. Uh, most likely that is bad. Not all the time, but most likely it's bad. Um, so in this case, this main board is rusty, so we're going to swap it out with a brand new, well, refurbished main board. And of course, unplug the TV. So do a visual inspection of your TV when working on the TV. If you see something that is looks bad or suspicious, then it, you, know, that's, you want to focus on that area. Now I could waste my time spending hours and hours trying to fix a rusty board, but in this case, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm just going to go ahead and um, replace the main board. It, 
This is a 42 inch Vizio, I believe, or 43 inch. I gotta look it up the model number. I believe it's a, actually a 47 inch Vizio TV. I gotta look up the model number. Take the board out and swap out the board. I'm gonna show you how rusty the board is. It's really rusty. Yep. There's screws in the middle and around the outer edge. All right, you wanna make sure you put the screws in a cup or somewhere you're not gonna lose the screws. It looks like a clamp. It's like clamped on. There we go. I think that's the audio amplifier. Oh my God, look how rusty it is. So as you can see, look how rusty it is. This should be silver. <laughs> yep. And then you can see how rusty these parts are. All right, you want to compare the board, make sure the part number is the same. So this is the part number right here. And you want to match it up. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, it says M20201007. Go ahead. All right. So we pair. There's another part number too, by the way, right here on top. But go by the sticker number. We have to put some grease on this. Let me get some uh, heat sink grease. Okay. All right, go ahead and put a, a dot right there in the middle. Okay. Go ahead. Push it on it. No, straight on it. Oh, I didn't know. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Don't get it on me. All right, and now go ahead and we're gonna mount this on. I have to get it to cool. Go ahead and put all the screws on. You wanna fix TVs for a living or no? no. <laughs> I didn't even finish the sentence. <laughs> You just said you want to fix that said no. <laughs> well, if you live with me, you're going to learn. I didn't use it. Oh, he shit. broke it. Good job. <laughs> That's why you have to put the screws in first. Oh, uh, put the middle one in first. How about that? I don't even know which one is which. Let's put it on low torque so we don't damage the board. There you go. You broke it. Alright, do the rest. Don't drop the drill on the board. We're going to give the TV away at the end. To so, me? No, to maybe one of your friends or something. But, um, yeah, if, if any of my viewers are, they live in Tampa locally, uh, post a comment. Let me know. I'm going to give this TV away. Okay. Right, a couple of screws right here. It's the wrong screw. Yeah. Go ahead and remove it. So the screws that you want to use is the ones with the built-in washer. All right. That's for the board. Alright, so let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it turns on. Cross your fingers, that helps. I heard it click on. Alright, let's find out where the power the power button's right here. So let's go ahead and hold on. I'm gonna tilt it up. Oh here we go. White light is on. Oh, the TV's on. It's working. Uh, it's, it's one of those TVs that takes like a minute to turn on. 
I had a Vizio like that. <laughs> it works! Devin, you did it! You fixed the TV, my man! This is your TV, by the way. I'm gonna mount it in your room. How big is it? I'm just kidding. If it's a size upgrade, I want it. Mm. I'm blind. Mm. No, this TV's too big for your room. You have 70, a 32 inch. I want a 70 inch. So Devin, you fixed the TV, how do you feel? No smarter than I felt before. How smart did you feel before? No smart. Anyway, so for your 13th birthday, you learned how to fix a TV. And uh, I don't know what you're gonna do with that knowledge, but there it is. Forget it. <laughs> like everything else. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone that might be interested in this video, go ahead and click on the share button below. Share this video to them. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos.